Here's a short video on how to make a rain barrel. Very easy. You can get a uh, rain barrel spigot kit just about anywhere, farm supply or um, some of the big box stores, a hardware store. And this is the tricky part right here. Now what I did, I used a piece of string and I tied this onto it loosely and dropped it down in here. I already did that, it took a while. And then I tipped the barrel and I used this piece of wire. After I tipped the barrel and it rolls down here, I stuck that in here, and pulled it up and caught it with my finger and pulled it through. That's, that's the hard part. Now, this, make sure the washer, there's a washer in here, make sure the washer's on the inside so it doesn't leak. Now the cool thing about this is it's, it's a reverse thread. To tighten it, it would be counterclockwise. This is tight and that makes it nice and strong so when you're doing other things it doesn't mess it up. Now, <clears throat> the, Teflon uh, the Teflon tape that they sent with this, not very good, so I have my own. It's a lot stronger. So I just wrapped this a few times. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Uh, it's not under pressure. Make sure it's clean. No leaves or dried stuff. And you go just two or three times around. I'm going to just finger tighten it for now, and then later on I'll come back and tighten it with a wrench. But this goes clockwise. Very simple. Just finger tight for now. Okay. And then you want Teflon tape on this side too. I cleaned the barrel out, um, and I was very particular. I got a barrel that was used for, um, it was used for making whiskey. So I, I, we want our uh, guests to be happy when they take a shower. Used whiskey barrels. All right, there's that. Now here's the, uh, the faucet. Off, closed, that's on, open. Okay, this is also clockwise, okay? Here we go. Okay, that's closed. Mm. Now, you don't need to put, as long as there's a washer in here, if you got that rubber washer, you don't need to put Teflon tape on here. This is also clockwise. Isn't that cool? All right, and that's it. And you can hook this up to a regular garden hose. And then this is gonna go around the back here. I'll take it and show you. Like that. And this hose is gonna be fed under the shower house. And then, come inside and I'll show you. We'll have an on-demand water heater. It's not finished yet, but it's close. The shower's right here. And the on-demand water heater will be on that wall. And there'll be a cover to keep it from getting too wet. That's going to be the composting toilet. It's going to be a little sink here, wash basin with a, just a, a tank, a, a three gallon tank or a five gallon tank. That's it. All right. That's it. So, okay. very simple.